Well, thank you all for coming. This is a very important meeting today because we are at a critical time in our history. But of course, we are Spaldings and we will rise to the challenge. The challenge of sitting still as they take our picture. Lizzie, listen up. This is, this is serious. No, that's all right, Beth. Yeah, sitting still would help, James. <laughs> Alan, are things really as dire as you make them sound? Yes. yes. If we don't handle the situation correctly, it could be the end of Spalding Enterprises as we know it. Is this interview spin control? Yes. Very good, Elizabeth. <laughs> you see, in a few days, Federal agents will be looking through all of our files and all of our records. Now, there's already word on the street that we are a sinking ship. Are we? Absolutely not. And that's why we must appear to be strong and unified, to show that this family will never crack or sell out Spalding. Mm. Right. <sighs> Well, Stephanie, I'm so uh, glad that you could come. Thank you, Kenneth. Um, I would like for you to meet my family. Uh, oh, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. I am sorry I'm late. Now, where do you want me to sit? Olivia, I had no idea that you would be joining us. Alan, where else would I be but with the family when Spalding is going through such a crisis? That's how you would describe the company situation? In crisis? Uh, Stephanie, I, I, uh, I thought you were here to do a piece on the family, not the company today. But the family is the company, Alan. You've always said that. And if Spalding Enterprises is facing disaster, then of course it's going to affect the Spalding family. Which makes me a key part of the story. You know, the fact that I'm family and all. Uh, Olivia, did Philip ask you to be here as his representative? Um, Miss Gandell, I'm sure you're aware that I recently married Philip. I have to say that I couldn't be happier to be back in the fold and with this family that I, I care so much about. You can quote me on that. I may throw up and you can quote me on that. Philip is just the best husband that I could, I could ask for and Alan has, Alan has taught me so much about making decisions. And Alexandra, oh, what can I say about Alexandra Spalding except she is just a role model for all strong-minded corporate women. Well, don't stop now. Beth has been a wonderful friend and advisor. And as far as Philip's wonderful children, Zach, James, and Lizzie, I feel so blessed to be their stepmother. Does this mean you'll be working for Spalding Enterprises? Uh, actually, Actually, we... the answer is yes and no. On the one hand, Alan has insisted that I come on board. Uh, Olivia... But on the other hand, it won't be as a regular executive. I'll be working in a special capacity as the Spalding liaison to the federal agencies that are looking into the alleged irregularities that you've no doubt heard of. Yes, about the allegations of the mob involvement. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Let me tell you that. That's why I'm here, to help clean this mess up. See, I've been out of Springfield for a while, so in, in a sense, I'm an outsider, but... The investors will look at me as being a little more objective and serious about this, which I am. I plan to see to it that the individuals responsible for tarnishing the good name of this company and this family are rooted out and brought to justice. Uh, Miss Spencer, could you please sit in the center? Oh, I, I would be honored. <clears throat> Uh, oh. uh, one spot over, if you don't oh. mind. Oh, sorry. Silly oh, dear. me. Sorry, dear. Well, isn't this nice? Smile. Good. Uh, thank you for you and your family's time, Mr. Spalding. Well, thank you so much for coming, Stephanie. Uh, Kenneth will show you two out. Olivia, mm -hmm. I would like a word with you alone in the hall. Sure, you got it. Say my seat. Thanks. What the hell were you thinking in there? That performance was absolutely... It saved your butt. It was absolutely necessary. 
No, it wasn't. I was in total control. Oh, have you been dipping into the antimonious? Not funny. What's not funny is the prospect of Spalding Enterprises if this scandal breaks without safeguards in place. Safeguards like what? Like me, Alan. Investors are going to scramble to, to unload their stock if it changes it made. If the people in charge at Spalding are the same ones who got this company into this mess in the first place. Not necessarily. Oh, my God, it just kills you to admit that I'm right. But you know that I am. You need someone with clean hands, a proven track record, and familiarity with this, this company to step in. Alan, you need me. You sat pretty still while Olivia was holding forth. I'm proud of you. Well, don't I get points? I mean, I'm sitting here thinking of every single item in this room I can shove down the woman's gullet. Well, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. You're not upset? Not really, no. <laughs> Honey, the only thing you could talk about when we were at Ravenwood the other day was how you didn't trust Olivia. Well, you know, I was just thinking about what Grandpa said and about family and how we need to stick together right now, and I think he's right. You do? Well, that, that's wonderful, though. I mean, you should. Well, I'm not going to start an Olivia Spencer fan club or anything, but if she's trying to do the right thing for Daddy or for all of us, I think she should give her a chance. You don't believe me. Well, I guess I didn't really expect you to. Sweetie, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just, ugh. how can I put this? I believe that you would like to wish Olivia well. I'm just trying to think of what Dad want me to do. Okay, you have a point. I think it would make your father happy if we could all learn to accept his wife. Do you think Dad's gonna get out of Ravenwood? Your father? Of course he will. He doesn't exactly seem to be getting better, Mom. Honey, I know that it's frustrating, but we just have to hold on a little while longer. Your dad is a fighter and he is going to get back to normal. That will happen, I promise you. Well, then I promise to look out for him and Zach and James. I just want us to be a family, Mom. So what, am I, am I hired or not? Olivia, it would be like Letting the fox in the hen house. Well, this fox is on your side, Alan. When has that ever been true? Whenever we've gone after the same thing. You want Spalding to survive this investigation, so do I. Call it the magic of vested interest. Or a quick marriage to Philip. Uh, I'm family. Get used to it. That makes me both the fox and the hen. I don't like you. I know. But I think you could be useful. Yeah? Well, did you hear that? He said I could be useful. You know, that little pitch you made in there to the reporter a while ago made a certain amount of sense. You do have a reputation of being ruthless and a, an unbelievably tough boss. Oh, thanks. Which might just be what we need for both PR and operation standpoint. Well, you know, Alan, as J.P. Morgan once said, uh... Don't patronize oh, me. Oh, come on. Why, why can't you just admit that the odds are pretty damn good that I can clean this mess up and get this company back on track? Because I don't have to. You already have. Then I'm in? You're in. Oh, Alan. You are a wise man. And don't worry, we'll beat this. There's nothing that you and Alexandra have done that I can't fix. You'll see. I'm not going to let you get one step closer to this family. <laughs> <laughs>